it hurts. I can't describe how much this hurts. I've been consumed with this since I found out in the middle of the night on Google. I don't know what to do with myself. A family moved to tears after learning through an internet search that the man sentenced to prison for killing their loved one is now free. Good evening, I'm Tom Trump. And I'm Katie Moore. Just days after the 25th anniversary of the murder of her brother, a woman says she found out on Google that he had been released from prison. And as painful as his release is, she's also upset that she and the rest of the family were never notified. Chris Jackman speaks with the family and gets answers from officials. I came out here with the, with the lawyers because they wanted to bring the jury to the scene. 25 years later, Patricia Caesar Isidore still has a hard time looking at the site where her little brother was killed. Have you ever been out here since then? No. No. I, haven't, I can't even go to my brother's grave. It was April 23rd, 1994. Patricia's brother, Mitchell Caesar, was shot more than five times, a young man cherished by his entire family. His niece, Monique, was only five years old, but has many memories of her uncle. It was my, my first best friend. According to court records, Caesar was abducted from his apartment in Algiers and taken to a remote location not far from the Orleans Plaquemines Parish line. One of the suspects, George Gilliam, was 16. He turned himself in and admitted that he and his older brother, Weldon Williams, then an NOPD officer, shot Caesar and another man. According to Gilliam's statement, Gilliam fired into the ground while Williams made Caesar get on his knees, shooting him over and over again. Williams and Gilliam were sentenced to life in prison without parole. But two weeks ago, Patricia searched Gilliam's name and got a shock. The first thing I saw was juvenile lifer gets a second chance. And I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Eyewitness News reached out to the Board of Pardons. While interviewing Patricia, Executive Director Francis Abbott called us back. But we did send out a, a letter to uh, the last known address of Mr. Caesar. Abbott told us that Gilliam was affected by Act 277, a piece of legislation dealing with juvenile lifers. Because Gilliam was 16, he was given parole eligibility after serving 25 years. Abbott also says victims' families have to be registered in their system if they want information about inmates and their status, a system Patricia didn't even know she had to be a part of. We had no reason to learn about this on our own. How are citizens supposed to find out about this? The Louisiana legislature changed the laws that uh, pertain to him. While she's happy about Abbott's call, she feels betrayed by the system now that a 25-year-old wound has been reopened. The other man convicted, Weldon Williams, is still in prison. Abbott also exchanged contact information with Patricia so that they can keep in touch on any developments with both men. Ton, Katie. Thank you, Carice.